Are you ready to optimize your YouTube channel to the next level? If you're feeling stuck or unsure about how to grow, stick around because today we're talking about how to optimize your YouTube channel for serious growth. Hey, I'm Philip, and if you're new here, I'm currently on a challenge to make 30 videos in 30 days, all to help you succeed on YouTube. I'm giving you strategies that actually work, so let's dive in and talk about optimizing your channel to maximize your growth potential. Optimizing your channel isn't just about uploading great content. It's about making sure your channel is designed to keep viewers coming back for more. Here are some key strategies you can start applying today. One, the first thing is nail your channel branding. First impressions matters. Your channel banner, profile picture, and overall branding should clearly communicate what your channel is about. You want people to know right away what they can expect from you. Consistency is key, so make sure your visuals align with your niche and content style. This gives you a professional look and builds trust with your audience. Personally, what I'm going through right now is I started off the channel called Run With Philip, but I felt at the time that when I took the trip to Cambodia, it didn't have anything related to running. So then I tried travel with Philip, but then I just, it was just one of those things where I felt it wasn't gaining traction fast enough. So I rebranded for the third time. Yes, I changed it three times. Nailing your channel branding. So I already know that I'm pivoting more towards creating content to help other content creators create content on YouTube. <laughs> and so that's so important as far as having the right banner, fixing your about page, having your name is your brand profile picture. Right now is a picture of me and my wife because what a lot of people don't know behind the scenes, you know, I couldn't do what I'll do today if it wasn't for my wife. So make your visual align with your niche. So if you're in fitness, maybe have some pictures of gym equipment or you working out. Focus on not having too many items on the banner. Second, optimize your about section. Don't underestimate the power of your about section. This is where you tell new viewers what your channel is about and why they should subscribe be clear, concise, and highlight the value you're offering. Think of this as your elevator pitch. See the benefits, not just the features of your content. On the about section, uh, the way it has it set up is there's a certain amount of characters that when people land on your home page, they might not click the more link where they can see the full about message. So make sure whatever you want to be clear and concise at, in those first 50 characters, you need to make sure that it's telling your audience what your channel is about. Third, leverage playlists for longer watch time. Playlists are a powerful tool to keep viewers engaged. Group similar videos into playlists so that when one video ends, another one begins. This increases your watch time, which is a major factor in YouTube's algorithm. Curating playlists not only makes your channel more organized, but also encourages binge watching, which the algorithm loves. The third one is, is very important. This really helped me with getting my watch time hours. Right now I'm at close to 1500 hours. Is that a megaphone at 9.30 p.m.? Oh, Cambodia, man. I thought if I record this at night, it would be a lot quieter than a day and less motorcycle. There's still motorcycles going on at 9.30. But yes, okay, so leveraging playlists for longer watch time. Whatever videos you're making, put it into a playlist. Think about it when you watch your favorite TV show on Netflix and you like to binge watch. That's the same thing that would happen when you create an audience that wants to watch your content. They really love what values you're giving to them and they are able to binge watch on the days that you dare have their day off. Fourth, optimize thumbnails and titles for clicks. Your video thumbnail and title are like your storefront window. They need to catch people's attention. A compelling thumbnail paired with a clear engaging title can make all the difference. Avoid clickbait, but do be intentional. Use bold, easy to read text, expressive faces, and contrasting colors to grab attention. As for titles, aim for intrigue, 
pose a question or hint a solution. Have a purpose of what you're gonna do before you record. If there's one thing that I've learned is start with creating your titles and thumbnails first. What kind of moped sounds like that? It sounds like a lawnmower. So whatever text you put in your thumbnail, make sure you say those words in your first 15 seconds of the video. So think about it. If you did your video first, then you created your thumbnail, and then you said, man, I really want this text on this thumbnail, but then you don't have it in any of your videos, A, what your thumbnail says, then it's like a clickbait. But you didn't intentionally do that, but it just happened to feel that way for your audience. This is very important. I honestly didn't know that I was doing this in the beginning. By the way, if you're finding these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and lets me know you're enjoying this content. Fifth, utilize in screens and cards for engagement. In screens and cards are often underused, but they're perfect for directing viewers to more of your content, including in screen that suggests relevant videos or a playlist. Cards are great for promoting the other videos during key moments in your video keeping people engaged with your channel longer. As far as cards, usually are implemented in the middle of your video. You can put your card at five minute or six minute mark because normally your audience haven't even reached that far. Now it's like a bonus for those that have stick around. You want your audience to continue to stay on your channel. So that's why you implement in screen and of course you like I explained on how to write a script, you want to add a call to action at the end encouraging your audience to click on this video. So if you haven't watched the how to write a script, you can watch it right here. I'll put a card at this area. Six, pin comments for community engagement. Pinning a comment is a great way to highlight important information or encourage discussion. You can pin your own comment asking a question or thanking viewers for watching, or you can pin a viewer's comment to boost engagement. This helps foster a sense of community and keeps people interacting with your content. Pin your audience comments. So it kind of encourage your audience to comment on your post because they'll see a, a rhythm that's going on that you're pinning their comment. Seven, engage with your audience regularly. Optimization doesn't stop at content, it extends how you engage with your audience. Respond to comments, ask for feedback, and build a relationship with your viewers. When people feel connected to you, they're more likely to become loyal subscribers. The YouTube algorithm also notice when people interact with your content. So that engagement boosts your channel's growth. Respond to your audience comment. I can't tell you how many times when I respond to an audience comments, I gotta subscribe the very next 10 minutes. So if you wanna gain more subscribers, respond to your viewers comment. Put a heart A. Analyze your channel analytics. Finally, regularly checking your YouTube analytics is key to understanding what's working and what isn't. Pay attention to watch time, audience retention, click through rates, use this data to refine your content strategy and make informed decisions about what video to create next. Here's what I would say for new YouTubers. Don't get to the point when you upload a video and you're just like constantly refreshing the page every five seconds, stop. Okay, I found that I get the most impressions when I don't look at my analytics. I already know before I published it, that's why you schedule your content, that I did everything I could and this is the best I got. Use your the, the A-B testing, the thumbnails that YouTube program has right now and you just load up three thumbnails. Everything is already set. You don't need to change anything. Don't stress over it. Seriously guys, it's, it's more to life than worrying about the YouTube analytics, okay? And it's 9.15 p.m. Today is day 18, halfway through this challenge. And honestly, I really wanted to throw in a towel. Earlier today, if you watched my previous video that was very detailed and a lot of edits needed to be done. And right after that, I made another video on how to create a thumbnail. And then right after I created that video, I had to edit it, and after I edited it, I had to create nine more thumbnails. I tell you what, man, there's so many times that where I question myself that 
how how am I going to get through this? And I think about you as the viewer that are watching this, creating content, and we're going through it together. And I really encourage to participate in this challenge with me. Start off with just doing seven days. And if you complete that seven days, try another seven days. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing and just putting out there that I'm going to do 30 videos in 30 days. As a content creator, you, there's a certain style that you want to produce a certain content. And that requires a lot of edits. And so what I've learned from this is just take this opportunity to be more efficient on editing content. And I've been very efficient. There's a lot of benefit in doing this challenge. I'm definitely a lot more comfortable on camera. No matter what time it is during a day, I don't use excuses. I just go about it and just focus on as you as a viewer, I think this is very important. I wish I had someone that helped me through my YouTube journey. And if you ever need anything, man, just comment down below, hit up my email. I hope you guys are enjoying the content that, that's being produced as of now. A bonus tip, you guys are wondering like, why are you releasing the video on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday? Because based off of the analytics, those are good days to release the videos. If I released it every day, just from my experience of watching other YouTubers, you're diluting your impressions by releasing it every day. If you give time 48 hours, YouTube is able to collect the data based off the transcript, what that video is about. So when you give them that leeway of 48 hours, you're most likely gonna get more impressions. Optimizing your YouTube channel is an ongoing process, but these steps will set you up for long-term growth. Remember, it's about creating a viewer experience and the more you optimize, the more the algorithm will work in your favor. Now that you got your channel optimized, you're going to need the right tools to keep growing. Click here to watch the next video, the best free tools for content creator and take your content to the next level. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.